Hi, welcome back. So this is the second video, four more reasons to take MMN as a way of boosting your NAD. Now I'm a firm believer that uh, good nutrition and exercise also assists in uh, allowing NMN to do its job. Uh, and there's a channel I watch, a chap by the name of Lance Hitchings, and I'll put a link in the description below. Um, he covers lots of subjects to do with people who, who are uh, middle aged and beyond, uh, ways of improving lifestyle, exercise, etc. Um, things like mTOR, he does a good video on NMN and NAD, and also things such as um, boosting testosterone naturally. Um, so follow the link in the description below if you wish to. Uh, and also if there are channels that you watch that also cover things um, to do with longevity and living a longer, healthier lifestyle, please feel free to comment in the um, in the description below uh, and I'll be sure to check them out. So without further ado, let's jump into four more reasons to take NMN as an NAD booster. NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is found in virtually all of our cells. NAD is essential for sustaining life. Unfortunately, our NAD levels decline drastically with age. This creates an energy deficit, which decreases our body's ability to retain youthful functions. NAD is biologically unstable. This makes it unsuitable for oral supplementation. Fortunately, it may be easy to restore NAD levels using an NAD booster such as NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. This converts into NAD when it enters the cell. In our last video, we covered how NAD declines with age and how by the age of 50, a typical person may have less than half of the NAD they had in their youth. And by the age of 80, NAD levels could have dropped to less than 10% of what they were in, in their youth. I will now summarize the second four anti-aging mechanisms that are affected by NAD. NAD promotes chromosome stability. Our chromosomes are complex structures that house our DNA. Access to DNA strands for reading out genetic instructions requires a biochemical control. This ensures that each gene functions correctly in the way it was designed. Like any complex molecular structure, chromosomes can become unstable. Eventually, this triggers errors in the way our genes are interpreted, which ultimately contributes to harmful changes in cell function and cell structure. Aging is accelerated in the presence of increased chromosome instability. The enzymes involved in sustaining stable structures requires NAD. In animal models, studies have shown that when enzymes that require NAD are inactive, chromosomes suffer and cells replicate abnormally. NAD is a neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitters are chemicals that enable neurotransmission. It is a type of chemical messenger that transmits signals across our chemical synapses, such as a neuromuscular junction from one neuron to another target neuron or muscle cell or gland cell. Neurotransmitters also help body-wide regulation functions are controlled such as mood, appetite, and even stress. NAD has been found to meet all the criteria for a neurotransmitter. Evidence for NAD's neurotransmitter function has now been found in intestinal and blood vessel smooth muscles, as well as in the brain. NAD activates our sirtuins. Proteins called sirtuins are a major regulator of cellular aging because they influence fundamental functions such as DNA repair and inflammatory response. 
They can also influence whether a cell replicates or instead dies a programmed death. This is known as apoptosis. Compounds that activate sirtuins are eagerly sought after as chemical fountains of youth. Supplements such as resveratrol have been evaluated as promising sirtuin activators. NAD is required for sirtuins to function. Sirtuin activation has shown great promise in fighting cardiovascular disease and preserving aging brain function. But these longevity promoters cannot function sufficiently without a correct amount of NAD. NAD supports our energy production. NAD has been hailed as an important part of the process that channels chemical energy from foods to the ATP fuel and energy that our cells require. More recent studies have revealed that NAD in itself is a form of energy currency, similar to that of ATP. When DNA damage occurs, PARP1 consumes large quantities of NAD to repair our DNA. This leads to reduced energy production, so it's important to always have high levels of NAD in our cells. In addition, high levels of NAD can activate our sirtuins. This permits them to carry out their metabolic and stress protective responses. These both contribute to longevity. Supporting efficient energy production and adequate ATP levels requires a consistent and abundant supply of NAD. This is critical because waning energy supplies contribute to the aging process. NAD beneficially enhances our core cellular anti-aging mechanisms. When these functions are impaired, the consequence is accelerated aging. This contributes to disorders such as Alzheimer's disease and osteoporosis. Restoring our cell NAD levels by using an NAD booster, such as NMN, has been shown to preserve youthful function and even reverse some age-induced deterioration in mice. Supplementation with NMN has been shown to slow cellular aging and improve many metabolic defects common to the degenerative process. This includes muscle wastage, insulin resistance and inflammation. Okay, so I hope you found that informative uh, and interesting. Uh, I'm going to do another video on We've done the, the pros, so let's look at the cons. Um, some things to consider if you haven't started taking NMN yet as a way of boosting your NAD. Uh, things to consider before you do actually start taking it. Uh, remember what I said, if you can, look in the description below uh, and have a look at Lance Hitchens' channel. Uh, lots of good stuff there on longevity and living a longer, healthier lifestyle. Uh, that's it for now. See you again soon. Take care. Bye.